Hello everyone. In this video, I will be briefing about BAN6093 final case problem. Okay. So, uh, in this video, I will be briefing you about theory part. Means like uh, we will be covering from uh, executive summary to this analytical model. Until this model, we have to be com we, we are supposed to complete it. Later, I will be sharing another video in which I will be explaining uh, analytical solutions to these four questions. Okay. So, this will be done later. As of now, we will be working on the first few sections uh, which is uh, mentioned in this uh, screen. Okay, please follow the video and uh, make sure that you complete them efficiently and uh, you are supposed to generate unique content related to the sections that are given. Okay, <coughs> let me start with the first one, executive summary. Uh, so usually like uh, executive summary will be written at the end of the paper. So whatever the sections you cover, whatever the sections you cover as a part of writing theoretical part related to that you create your own executive communication we usually write a uh, general introduction related to the case problem like problem is related to uh, expansion plan related one so usually we, sh we start with explaining organization and uh, uh, increase in uh, sales value to address the sales value we are supposed to give uh, go for a expansion plan okay what kind of alternatives we will have and uh, we, we discuss in general related to that concept next we introduce uh, <coughs> case problem and what we are solving okay what is the problem and what we are going to solve Finally, we speak about results and uh, conclusions. Okay, so these sections, these two sections, you can write later, but uh, make sure that you complete these three sections in, in as a part of completing theory part. Okay, so while you complete a results section in the later part, you are supposed to complete results and conclusion section of this one. And you are not supposed to keep these headings. It should be a one paragraph, two hundred word one pa words paragraph should be written here. Okay, no side headings are allowed. So next one, introduction to the case. So here uh, I will brief you about the case. There is a company by name Hanover INC. So it is it manufactures the fiber optic products and uh, they are FA, FB, FC. The country has, uh, the company has two plants, one in uh, Austin, Texas and another one is Paris. Paris in France country, okay. These two started manufacturing uh, products and uh, different type of mix of uh, FA, FB, FC, FC will be manufactured in this uh, in these plants okay so it is observed that uh, the country started its uh, growing its sales and it want to focus more on <coughs> increasing sales value for the organization okay so to make sure that uh, the company want to go for an expansion plan it want to start a new plant okay mix uh, which can which can uh, manufacture these three type of products okay so you just read this one you will understand so now we want to uh, understand uh, which country or like which location will be best for implementing new plant. Okay, whether we need a new plant or not, that should be addressed. And uh, we are supposed to understand whether a new plant, uh, if new plant has to be implemented, where it should be implemented. That is the case. Okay, so using the Excel data sheet that is given, we are supposed to analyze the Excel data and we are supposed to address all these four questions as it was mentioned in the document okay that is the basic case so we start uh, discussing about general scenario so general general scenario again as it was discussed in uh, executive summary we start explaining about organization and organization growth based on the organization growth we will be making different type of decisions okay if uh, we are product manufacturing company if organization sales is increasing in different countries so maybe considering the transportation issues cost related to the transportation shipment foreign exchange and the taxes that will be levied on uh, exports so based on those things we will be planning to implement a new new manufacturing unit for example if we are purchasing an american car if that car is sent from america to india that will be more costly when compared if the same company is implemented in india and manufactures car within the india then if we purchase that car the cost will be very low when compared to importing a car from other country so it will definitely impact customer customer uh, value will be <coughs> customer will face l increased cost if uh, they are they start importing from other countries 
sometimes like uh, these uh, foreign exchange related issues and uh, export related transactions will also uh, levy uh, extra charges for the organization so to avoid those things most often so like to avoid those things and uh, more most importantly to ensure that maximum sales maximize the sales organizations go for expansion so it, it can be like uh, increasing uh, uh, product manufacturing within the executed ex existing plant otherwise creating a new plant so that uh, manufacturing value manufacturing number of products that will be manufactured is increased so you should give a general basic scenario like this uh, your own scenario and then uh, what kind of difficulties we experience uh, while <coughs> making expansion options so as it was discussed we can have multiple options like so one is increasing say increasing uh, total product manufacture within the existing plant second one is going for a new plant okay Th if you take these two as alternatives so what difficulties we face okay so we difficulties that we face is we are supposed to ex like a, a predict a cost that could incur okay so what kind of benefits we can generate because of the increased product, increased manufacturing or creating new plant. Okay, so there will be certain confusion related to which option should be choose. Okay, so the option that we select will have serious impact on the performance of the organization in future. For example, the decision we made related to the expansion plan, if it is incorrect, it will definitely have negative impact on the organization. So what we should do, we should make sure that the expansion options are properly evaluated and we should make sure that most appropriate option is selected <coughs> so that org organization can have maximum benefit okay so this is how we we are supposed to discuss about like see mostly mm, there will be certain complexities that are associated with making decision related to the expansion what kind of complexities what kind of confusions we have that should be discussed in brief within your understanding okay so make sure you write a proper detail related to that next give the case introduction you have a case document that is given to you make sure that you read it properly and uh, you try to introduce the case and clearly mention what are the expectations that are out of the case okay next one we start giving business case detail related to the company Hanover is the company so uh, we start discussing about fiber optic market fib what what kind of fiber how the fiber optic market in us is so make sure that you write this related to us united states okay fiber optic market in united states fiber optic market in the world we can discuss uh, completely like mostly write have some words related to the fiber optic market and how it is expanding what kind of benefits organizations operating in this sector sec that sector receiving okay that should be properly discussed once that is done start discussing about the organization and organization products we know that organization is Hanover INC and it is it manufactures FA FDFC three different type of fiber optic products and you would write some extra content like the company is uh, selling its products to multiple countries in the recent times it is getting increased sales value something some XYZ relate like some extra information related to the products okay based on the given case so that is all about product section <coughs> so mostly like the main purpose is we are now supposed to introduce what products the organization is selling so for that purpose we are supposed to give you a nice introduction to the fiber optic market and uh, we should mention what products it is operating next facilities so we should speak about the importance of manufacturing facilities and the uh, location of manufacturing facilities uh, where they should be located so that it will be feasible for the company to ensure that the products are supplied easily to the target countries or target customers okay so you should speak about manufacturing facilities maybe supply chain facilities warehouses all those things okay so their importance should be clearly explained in this uh, section immediately you should s speak about the facilities organization is having so after speaking about the importance of manufacturing facilities and warehouses you should speak about <coughs> what kind of facilities organization is having where they are located okay so you can get this information from the case the next one is markets so uh, sec th this is also a very important section so you start uh, discussing about uh, uh, importance of uh, selecting appropriate markets in which the product should be sold okay so it should speak about the free trades if if having free trades between the countries for example 
if you take european union multiple countries will be present in european union any product that is manufactured in x country of the european union can be easily traded in any other countries in the european union without any cost so it's called free trade agreements okay so when we have uh, usually like you should the selection of target market should depend on depends on many aspects distance uh, culture and free trade agreements like this so you just evaluate you write 50 words at least 50 words on the selection importance of uh, markets and selection of markets related information okay then immediately discuss about in which countries the sales of the company is happening you can get that information from the case again you can clearly see that the, com the country is operating in different countries you can get that information from that uh, case study next expansion plan so why expansion is required discuss the present scenario from the case okay so again we speak about expansion related detail and then uh, from uh, case we know that uh, we are the organization is planning to expand its uh, <coughs> business so what kind of uh, what kind what kind of detail you have that should be clearly evaluated from the case okay you can get that information from the case next is uh, we speak about analytical models that we use in the process of analyzing the given case study okay so what we do is like uh, if we just mention what models we are using we try to give brief introduction to the each model okay so spreadsheet models means excel excel based models in that we use goal seek and scenario manager so you just introduce like uh, as a part of spreadsheet model there are multiple up there will be multiple models that we will be having right so among them we use goal seek and scenario manager so you speak about you try to write about what is goal seek and how it will be helpful what is scenario manager and how it will be helpful okay you can write both or any one you can write just scenario manager otherwise you can write both next discuss about linear optimization model and how it will be helpful okay you try to search about linear optimization model and uh, you just discuss how it will be helpful in uh, predicting the plant okay so just discuss what is linear optimization model and what is interlinear optimization model okay so that's it for the theory part and uh, make sure you use the template while writing the answer all right chalo okay in two hours i will share in two to three hours i will share the uh, analytical part so that we can complete this document today okay all the best team thank you